Oh, hi there guys. It's a lovely autumn morning here in Britain. This week I have come into possession of the second iteration in Xiaomi's range of action cams. The Xiaomi Yi 4K, which I'm recording on now. But anyway, let's stop recording on it for a moment to take a look at it. Well, what I will say about the Xiaomi Yi 4K is that it's very similar to the original Xiaomi Yi in that the box is exactly the same size. Uh, the text on this box is only in Chinese. This is the Chinese edition. There is an English edition available on Amazon, um, but this one shipped quicker. This has come straight from Shenzhen directly. Um, so in the inset, we have the cam itself, which again is pretty much the exact same size as the original Xiaomi Yi physically. We take the packaging out, uh, then we have inside a manual. Um, the manual, again, it's the Chinese edition, only in Chinese. Shouldn't really make much difference. Uh, and there is a little USB cable in there as well. So looking at the cam itself, um, it's only got one button on this time, um, which we'll use to turn it on. Um, and then the chief difference is, oh look, we have a touchscreen, which is quite helpful. Now this is the Chinese edition of it, so the touchscreen is only in Chinese, there is no English option. Um, that shouldn't really be a problem because all you do is turn on the wireless option and then connect it up to the app on a tablet or smartphone. And from there you expose all of your device settings, video settings, photo settings, you can set everything on there. Um, and to be honest, once you've set that once, you'll probably just be turning it on and taking pictures and videos and turning it off again, which you probably don't need to understand Chinese to do in any big way. Um, and if you want to, well, there's always the Google Translate camera app. I'll do it in real time for you. Um, so it supports yeah, 4K at 30 frames a second, 1080 at 60 frames a second, and then some lower resolutions go up as high as 240 frames a second. Um, but I don't really want to focus too much on specs and specifics of interface or anything like that for this particular review. Um, what I'd most like to do, without further ado, is to take you on a tour of my flat using the Xiaomi Yi 4K. Right, let's get this tour on the road. As you know, let's get it off the road. Let's head up my driveway and in to my side garden, which at the moment is quite heavily overgrown with cat mint. Very big crop of cat mint. Now uh, my patio area, let's head inside. So as we head in, then immediately on the left we have my downstairs lavatory, complete with sink, and my vacuum cleaner. Then if we head back into the hallway and then take the next left, we go into my main activity room, my main living room. Let's take a seat. <clears throat> now this is where the action happens, because this is where we have the 123 inch projection screen. This is where we game, this is where we watch movies, and this is where we play VR. That's right, this really is where it happens. This is my gaming station. This is where I frag my foes. To the right, you'll see my gaming rig, i7, GTX 980 Ti, it's a serious player, PlayStation 4, both of course attached to the projector. Then, to the left, you'll see my Dell server, Xeon box, running VMware ESX, variety of virtual workloads serving my various purposes, also a Cisco VDSL router and a Cisco wireless access point. And then, on the top, my HTC Vive VR apparatus. This is the place to be. So, from here, let's uh, head across the hallway into the kitchen where we have dishwasher, washing machine, cooker, plates, bowls, mugs, cups, other cooking supplies, freezer, fridge. Fairly standard fare. Then let's head up the stairs 
to the next floor of the facility. So when we get up here, if we then take a right, we will head through to the main bedroom. So this is where I perform any bed requiring activities on this rather fantastic super king size bed from Ikea. It is very comfortable, it is very spacious, I enjoy it very much. Uh, I keep my clothes in this room as well. Uh, I have a lovely window overlooking the beauties of Surrey Road. I do have a desk with a PC in this room as well. Uh, it's an i7 with a GTX 780 Ti, so it's not quite as high end as my main rig, but appropriate for some moderate gaming. Um, I also use the PC when I remote work occasionally during the week. Um, I collaborate with friends and colleagues and associates on the PC. I have a SIP phone as well, which I use predominantly for work. And uh, I have a LifeX light bulb in here as well, wireless attached, so that's great because I can set different colours and effects and so on. And most critically, I can turn it off and on from bed, which is what really matters, of course. That's about it for this room. And then let's uh, head out of the main bedroom, uh, back onto the landing. And then on the right hand side we have the main bathroom. Lavatory, bath, shower, sink, a window. Nothing particularly extraordinary about any of that. And then the very last room on our tour uh, is the second bedroom. Which, I've got to be honest with you, has rather become a dumping ground for things I don't really use anymore. My treadmill, my power box, my old desk, an old bed on top of the actual bed that I don't use. All in all, it's junk that really needs to be sorted out and tidied away. This is where I do most of my video editing. I have two PCs here. They're both i5s with SSDs in them. I run Linux Mint on both of them, and I use FFmpeg exclusively for my video work. The computer to my left I use for the visual activities of cropping and trimming and stitching of videos, and then visually verifying all of that work. And then the computer to my right is where I do most of the more heavy processing work of transcoding and applying filters and that sort of thing. Um, I'll always have a web browser open with a whole bunch of tabs with the myriad of FFmpeg command line documentation in because there are a lot of options for the various filters and codecs and such. Anyway, when I'm done working on my videos from here, I upload them directly to YouTube for your viewing pleasure. Well, there you have it. Some Xiaomi Yi 4K footage. Hmm. It's daylight again, and my t-shirt's changed. I may have to fire the continuity team. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.